Welcome to your Business Calculus Lesson 4.2, Differentiation Rules. You'll recall one of the rules from last time, the chain rule. The derivative of the com composition f of g of x is equal to f prime of g of x times g prime of x. The product rule is when you have two functions multiplied together. So f and g are multiplied together, and the derivative of f times g is going to equal f prime times g plus f times g prime. The quotient rule, when you have f divided by g, is going to be the derivative of f over g is equal to g times f prime minus f times g prime over g squared. Okay, now... Um, a teacher, uh, an instructor I had in college actually taught us a little way to remember this, and I remember it to this day, and it's been a long time since I had that class. So, low D high minus high D low, square whatever is down below. So, low times the derivative of the higher function minus the higher function times the derivative of the lower function, and then you square whatever the lower function is. Okay, we're going to find the derivative of 4x plus 3 to the 10th power. So it's a composite function, and so we're going to use the chain rule. So f of x is x to the 10th, so that means that the derivative of f of x is going to be 10 times x to the 9th using the, the good old power rule. And then g of x is 4x plus 3, the derivative of 3 is 0, the derivative of 4x is 4. All right, remember we need f prime of g of x, and so we're going to plug in whatever the rule is for g of x as an input into f prime of x. So we're going to have 10 times 4x plus 3 to the ninth power. Okay, so our derivative is going to equal f prime of g of x times g prime of x, and so we're going to have 10 times 4x plus 3 to the ninth times 4, so 40 times 4x plus 3 to the ninth power. Okay, we've got 5x cubed times cosine x. And we want to know the derivative of that. So we've got 5x cubed times cosine x. So we've got um, a product of two functions. And we still want to go through and make our f of x, um, f prime of x, g of x, g prime of x row. And so we're going to have f of x is 5x cubed. Its derivative is 15x squared. G of x is cosine of x. Its derivative is negative sine x. And so we're now going to plug this into the product rule formula. So it's going to be f prime times g, so 15x squared times cosine x, plus f, so 5x cubed, times g prime, so negative sine x. So we're going to get 15x squared times cosine x minus 5x cubed times sine x. And this last one is a quotient. So f of x is 3x squared plus 5x plus 1, and g of x is 2x. The derivative of f of x is uh, going to be 6x plus 5. The derivative of uh, 2x is going to be 2. So we're going to do low, so 2x d high, so f prime, minus high, 3x squared plus 5x plus 1, d low, so 2. Then we're going to square whatever is down below, so 2x quantity squared. All right, let's clean this up. We're going to just do some distribution here. Uh, so we're going to have 12x squared plus 10x, and then we're going to have minus 6x squared plus 10x plus 2. We're going to... Um, Subtract that second polynomial, and so 12x squared minus 6x squared is 6x squared. 10x minus 10x is 0, um, and then negative 2. All right, so we've got 6x squared minus 2 over 4x squared. We can factor of 2 out of that numerator, cancel with a factor of 2 in the denominator, and we're left with 3x squared minus 1 divided by 2x squared. Thank you for your attention. That's it. Go ahead, print out your problem set and get started on it. If you have any burning questions, you know where to find me. Have a great day.